Hey folks, so I recently purchased this light off Amazon and there are so many different grow lights you can purchase on Amazon. I purchased one for my Saracenia seedlings over here and I thought since these are in the corner and the windows over here, how about get some light to help facilitate them. And there are so many different ones. Some have thin like 80 LEDs, some have like 172 or six, which is what these are. And you have some with like 420. And I kind of like the brightness and the way this looks with the 176, but I bought this one as opposed to the 420 or the 80 because I really didn't know which one to buy and I wanted more lights than just 80. And I also wanted the height. A lot of them were a little shorter, but I was really looking for something with some, something like a higher color temperature than 3000 Kelvin because they advertise that 3000 Kelvin is similar to sunlight. But the reality is the earth at its distance from the sun or average distance receives an average of 1,372 watts per square meter. Naturally, as the light filters through the atmosphere, you have less below, but you see how hot it is when you stand outside from all that radiation. And you don't get that even with all these bulbs. So it's nowhere near as bright as the sun. So to try and mimic the color, to me, I think it should be a little higher color temperature. But anyway, so my thoughts on these tripod grow lights, I am not impressed. I like the color output and these bulbs, you can actually buy them off eBay. So if one burns out, you can always replace them. But I wanted to adjust this setting one time on this and it does have a remote control as well, which is kind of silly to have both in my opinion. It's overkill, but it wasn't working until I unplugged it to reset it. So it was kind of odd, but also these goosenecks are so thin, it's hard to adjust them. And this one here came damaged. So like you see how it's bent. If I straighten it, it, it just falls. So it's damaged, but I thought about shipping it back to swap out, but I'm not going to worry about it too much at the moment. I probably need to do something to replace the gooseneck. So I'll just modify this. This one was, they were asking 50, which is high when you can get some in the 25 to $30 range, but they had a 30% discount and a 30% promotion. So it cost me around 20. So if I return it and get another one, I'm going to be spending more and it's doing its job. But one thing else that I'm not crazy about is this would be with all the tripod lights, not something that's defective with this, or they don't build the goosenecks to support the weight of the bulb is that you see how I have these turned. So now the tripod won't stand still. It's actually leaning against this plant bench. And by the way, these two um, tables I built. And one issue is I, I built, I had cut the wood and then I started to paint. I sanded, then I, a couple years later, I come to finish it and the can had dried out and I inadvertently bought the wrong color. So then I had to paint a little, then resand and everything. So the finish didn't turn out as well as I like, but it's perfect for plants. And this table can tuck underneath, pull out. I initially wasn't building this for plants. It was when I was living in my house and I thought this would be great to put against the wall. This can slide out and I can be sitting and eating on it while watching TV if I wanted to versus buying those TV tables that are not stable and anyway. But uh, back, back off that tangent, <clears throat> they're designed so these stand in between and you put all your plants around. But in a setup like I have, I don't want that. And it's better to have it in the corner. And anyway, so that's my thought about these lights. If you have one of the ones that have a lot more LEDs or the one with a lot less, feel free to leave a comment on your thoughts. And now if you're wondering about these plants I have, this is a begonia albopicta. And um, sometimes the cane begonias will shed their leaves. So when I transplanted it, it shed its leaves and I'm hoping it will recover. The typical money plant, crown of thorns. 
This is a terrarium I recently cleaned up with a begonia foliosa and a little watermelon begonia, a uh, African violet. And then this is a uh, ficus pamelia. I need to turn it. Some, sometimes these pots that have like a drainage hole with a stop can leak. So I put a little press and seal on here so that it doesn't ruin the table. I have my Pilea libanensis, zigzag cactus, snake plant, another begonia that's recovering, and I'm probably going to put this in that pot. My coffee plant, Tillandsia, Christmas cactus, my, um, my Peperomia peppermill, strawberry begonia, cuttings of my um, begonia pavanina that I've been propagating. These I did more recently, and this is my jar with a few in here. So I'm happy that these are growing nicely. I'll have to accum acclimate them to drier temperatures. And my, another um, Pilea libanensis. And here I have a Hoya. I missed that Hoya there. A couple other cane begonias. I can't even talk, can I? And then here I have my string of turtles. A dead, um, if you've seen my video where I transplanted it, I was unable to save it, the African violet. Here's an aloe castionia I propagated. And then here, hanging on this, I have another um, Pilea libanensis on a macrame that I made. These handbag hooks are really useful for plants. And all these Pilea libanensis, and even more than those, I bought a little tiny container like a couple of years ago in like a two inch pot, and I've been propagating them. Then here I have a Dendrobium kingianum, a string of turtles I propagated. Here I have a segment of my um, queen of the night plant. Here and behind the Talancia, I have a tray of vinegar for any stray gnats that have flown inside the, the place so that they can get caught and not breed. And then I have my Saracenia seedlings. I'm hoping I'll get them to reach adulthood. And here I have a tray of water and a little bit of uh, liverwort. I'm going to do some terrarium setup with that soon, I hope. And then I don't know if you can see it off frame, but here I have my golden goddess philodendron. And on the floor out of sight, but glowing nicely, is my begonia pavanina. So anyway, that's just a little showcase of my plants and my thoughts on these flimsy, you know, they can't even hold their own weight, um, tripod grow lights. I hope you found this video informative. Thanks for watching. Happy planting.